<laughs> now, call me old-fashioned. I used to think politics was a question of looking at each candidate's yes. policies and saying, oh, they'll do that. OK, I agree with that, or I don't. I'll vote for them. It's Apparently, so much more complicated than that. It's not like that. that at all. Yeah, we're talking about Super Duper... Talking about Super Duper Tuesday. The reason it's called Super Duper Tuesday is because there are more votes being cast in these primaries than ever before. Yeah. And those votes, cast by millions of Americans, give the presidential candidates the first real indication of whether that campaign branding is working for them. Branding. Branding. Yeah. Hillary uses the Clinton trademark to underline her experience. Mm -hmm. Barack laps up Obama mania, apparently, in his push for change. Mitt Romney brands himself the true Ronald Reagan conservative. And John McCain, the straight-talking war hero. So we're looking at how effective their branding is proving to be with Alan Siegel, who's an American brand expert. And uh, Mary Jordan <laughs> rejoins us. She writes for the Washington Post. Hello to you both. Good morning. Has it come down to this? Is it really about branding and not policies? Um, in a way, we haven't heard that much about policies, have we, Mary? No, but it's all about Hillary saying, look, the economy's bad. We had the stock market falling again yesterday. I'm experienced. I know how to handle things when things get tough. And on the other hand, we have Obama saying, we are so sick of politics as it used to be in the old ways and all those people with Bush names and Clinton names. Let's sweep them away. I'm the new guy. And so that's it's what it's about. versus change. Right. Okay. Alan, doesn't all this branding, and in which you're an expert, take, take us one step even further from what it should all be about, which is what the, the, the candidates are actually going to do? Yeah, the, the research that we have and what we've seen in America is that in the Democratic uh, side of the picture, that the people are not focusing on issues, they're focusing on the personalities and the brand uh, of, of the candidates. And um, while there's a great disparity on the points of view between the Democrats and the Republicans, there's a great similarity on how these two main candidates view uh, where the country is going. So we have the information wonk, the experienced uh, uh, candidate in, in Hillary, and we have a very inspirational uh, um, Obama, who's looking to uh, to change mm -hmm. and to uh, include well, changes is big buzzword, it's big and, and, and he's a very inclusive campaign. And momentum, I'm hearing a lot now. Yes. Change and momentum. And Mary, if you're looking at the um, the Republican side of things, John McCain, who we've been saying was written off six months ago, you know, during the summer, it's John McCain. He's too old. He'll never become president. And now you're looking at the results coming in from Super Tuesday. He's roaring ahead. He's and a I think that has a lot to do with how weak the whole field is on the Republican side. Mm. I mean, even even today, we're seeing that uh, Huckabee, the, the Baptist minister, has always basically won the South, and Mitt Romney has won a lot of the West. Uh, McCain is the winner there, but it's not a landslide in any way, and it's kind of the best of a lot. Mm. Alan, all this talk about branding and people deciding, though, on on sort of. What, how they identify with, with the candidates, doesn't that make the whole experience rather shallow? Uh, it, it does and it doesn't. I think, I think the one of the most interesting things in the campaign is when McCain started, he hired a lot of Bush political advisors and communications people and they shaped his campaign and they, they took away his voice, a voice which he, which he calls the, uh, the straight talking express. And he, he lost contact with the, uh, with the audience. Mm. Uh, I think the war, well, the war issue also played into that. But I think to be successful, you have to have your own voice. And, and Americans see through phoniness and see through uh, campaign tactics that uh, have gotten in the way of clarity. Oh, well, that's interesting because some have said that the campaign tactics used by Hillary Clinton Having, having a little tearful moment just before Super Duper Tuesday, the tearful moment that was said to also help her earlier on in the primary race. I mean, well, is, it, is it down to likability and personality in the end? Is well, yes, especially because Obama and, and Clinton are quite alike on policies. I mean, her big thing is that, is that she um, did vote early on the Iraq war and he didn't. Now, that's, that's uh, one big mark ag against her. But otherwise, on health, on, on many other issues, they're, they're pretty much the same people. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it's going to come down. And that's why, if you look at that one state, Missouri, it's a bellwether state for 100 years, that state, except one time, has voted the winner. And you know what happened last night? What? Obama won by half a percentage point. It's very Whoa. close, then. So this is, that state really tells you what's going on. Who yeah. is more likable? Who do we want? The same person changes their mind in the same day in America right now. <laughs> I, I think, the, I think uh, in analyzing this, that, that the Clintons made a big mistake in attacking Obama. Mm. Um, here, here, and when, when uh, the president, when President Clinton attacked him 
uh, when they used uh, the press to attack him, when they did attack ads, uh, I think there was a tipping point, and uh, a large segment of independent voters and young people said, we've had enough of this. We've had enough yeah. of the Clintons. We've had enough of this kind of they politics. Want okay. politics. They want positive, and they're looking for change. And if you look at that event, I think it's changed the whole character yeah. of the campaign. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Long way still to go. I mean, we've got more yeah. primaries on the 4th of March. I mean, November the 4th is the election. We've got mm. so far to go. You know what, Sean? What? It's time for change. It's time for change. <laughs>